Hello everyone, this is Sherwin here from TechOS and in this week's quick tip video I'm going to be showing you how you can find the best Wi-Fi channel for your Mac and this is going to be very useful for people who uh, either have problems with their Wi-Fi or they have slow speeds and they just want to sort of get better um, internet performance on their Mac so it's quite simple to do and how it works is if you hold down the option key on your keyboard or you might it might say alt if you hold that down and if you go and press on the wi-fi symbol in the top uh, then you'll be able to go into this uh, different menu now mine is a personal hotspot logo because that's because i'm connected to my ipad's internet at the moment but i tap on that and you'll get a list of your network and all of the different um options such as IP addresses, that's all blanked out for me at the moment because obviously I don't want to reveal all that. But if you go down the list and you can let go of option now or alt and if you go down to where it says open wireless diagnostics, if you click on that and you'll get this window. Now what you're going to want to do is go to the top, ignore this um, pop up, you're going to go to where it says window and go down to where it says scan. Now once you've clicked on scan, it's going to bring up a list of your networks on the right hand side and obviously they're blurred out. On the left is where we're going to be focusing so um, if you look at the bottom it's going to suggest best 2.4 gigahertz channel and best 5 gigahertz channel so as you can see here the best 2.4 gigahertz channels for me at the moment are 11 and 2 and the best 5 gigahertz channels are 36 and 40. Now what this means is that these are the best channels that are going to be um, free from interference from other routers in the local area and other internet connected devices that you have emitting internet connections so these channels are going to be the best so what you can do now is you can log into your router's Wi-Fi settings obviously I can't really help you with that because everyone's router is going to be different depending on what model you have but what you have to do is log into your router settings you should be able to check your manufacturers instruction manuals to find out how to do that and then you're going to want to change the channels on which your router broadcasts to these correct ones. So you're going to want to change them. In my case, I'd change the 2.4 gigahertz broadcasting to 11 and 2. So channels 11 and 2. And the 5 gigahertz networking to channels 36 and 40. So that's basically what you'd have to do to get your wireless up to speed. So that's it for this video. If you've got any questions or comments on anything that you've seen, uh, do get in contact with me, leave a comment down below or get in contact with me using the details that will be in the description of the video. Don't forget to like this video by giving it a thumbs up down below and also subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.